Hello everyone, in this video we have solved a nice Japanese maths Olympiad question which is a plus b is equal to 100, a b is equal to 100, a b is equal to what? How to solve this interesting maths problem. So this is our first equation and this is our second equation. Now, we know that, we know that here a minus v whole square it will be a plus v whole square minus 4 a v then i can easily here i solve this question two method here a plus b is equal to 100 so i take here is 100 whole to the power these two minus 4 times a b a is 100 a b is 100 now at this moment you can see easily here 100 power is 2 it will be 10,000 minus 400 4 times 100 it will be 400 now I can see easily this minus this it will be 9,600 so we'll find out here is a minus v whole to the power 2 it will be 9600 now at this moment here a minus b and whole to the power 2 i break it i use both sides square root break it whole to the power 2 and square root it will be 9600 now here is square root cancel we are find out here is a minus b is equal to plus minus and square root here 9600 i can see it will be 100 times 16 times 6 you know that it will be 100 times 96 and 96 it will be 16 times 6 now here a minus b is equal to plus minus square root 100 it will be 10 square root 16 it will be 4 and square root 6 now at this moment you can see easily here a minus b is equal to plus minus it will be 40 4 times 10 it will be 40 and here is square root 6 so we are find out here is a minus b is equal to 40 square root 6 but our first equation here a my a plus b is equal to 100 so if i take this equation here so this is our third equation and our first equation it will be a plus v is equal to 100 and our this is our first equation and at this point if i take our third equation i can see it will be a minus b is equal to plus minus 40 square root 6 this is our third equation now if i add both equation i add both equation so a plus a it will be 2a and this is plus this is minus so if i subtract it will be zero then here 100 and it will be plus because of that if i add both equation we are add here so it will be 100 plus minus 4t square root 6. now if I divide both sides by 2, so 2a over 2 is equal to 100 plus minus 40 square root 6 divide 2. Then you can see easily here, 2 to cancel out, we are find out here is a is equal to, if I separate this fraction 100 divide 2, it will be 50 and here is plus minus 40 divide 2, it will be 20 square root 6 so we are find out here is a is equal to 50 plus minus uh, 20 square root 6 now at this moment our target v is equal to what so we know that uh, again if i subtract both equation and first of all we are add i mean first equation plus third equation here and at this moment if i subtract both equation i mean first equation minus third equation so i can see easily here our first equation it will be a plus b is equal to 100 
and our third equation it will be a minus b it will be plus minus 40 square root 6 now if i subtract both equation i can say that it will be a minus a i change the sign and here b plus b it will be 2b is equal to 100 minus this term you can see here plus minus 40 square root 6 now at this moment you can see here 2b is equal to 100 then plus minus it will be minus 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 it will be plus and here is 40 square root 6 then if i divide both side by 2 so i can see easily this below i mean this b it will be 50 20 uh, 100 divide 2 it will be 50 then here is minus plus and it will be 40 square root 6 so 40 sorry it will be 20 square root 6 so we'll find out a uh, when a it will be 50 plus minus 20 square root 6 and v it will be 50 minus plus 20 square root 6 this is the value of a and v in this japanese mass olympiad question when a is equal to 50 plus 20 square root 6 this time b is equal to 50 minus 20 square root 6 when a is equal to 50 minus 20 square root 6 this time b is equal to 50 plus 20 square root 6 now i solve uh, these questions others method uh, our question it will be a plus v is equal to 100 this is our question and a b it is also 100 now this is our first equation and this is our second equation now solution i solve this question two method now you can see easily our first equation here one uh, if i take this equation i can see it will be a plus b is equal to 100 then you can see b is equal to 100 minus a this is our third equation so we we'll find out here is uh, b is equal to 100 minus a now here our second equation uh, it will be a b is equal to 100 this is our second equation now at this moment you can see easily here a times b b it will be 100 minus a is equal to 100 now at this moment you can see easily here 100 a minus a square is equal to 100 now at this moment you can see easily here minus a square plus 100 a minus 100 it will be zero now at this moment if i multiply both side by negative one i mean i can say it will be uh, minus one times a square negative a square plus positive 100 a minus 100 is equal to zero times minus one i multiply both side minus one then i can see here uh, this equation it will be minus minus positive a square plus minus it will be 100 a and minus minus it will be plus 100 is equal to 0 times minus 1 it will be 0 so we are finding out here is a nice quadratic equation uh, it will be a square minus 100 a plus 100 it will be 0 now you can see easily here a uh, it will be minus b plus minus square root v square minus 4 ac over 2 according to this formula i can see easily here a it will be minus b minus b it will be minus times minus 100 we know that b is equal to negative 100 and plus minus square root uh here v square i mean negative 100 square minus 4 ac is 1 and c is 100 over 2a a is also 1 here now you can see it here a it will be 100 minus minus it will be positive 100 plus minus 
square root then you can see it will be 10,000 minus power even number it will be always positive minus 4 times 100 it will be 400 and here is 2 then you can see here a it will be 100 plus minus square root and here 9600 divide 2 then you can see here a is equal to 100 divided by 2 plus minus and we know that square root 9600 it will be square root 100 times 16 times uh, it will be 6 over 2 now here a it will be 50 plus minus and we know that 100 it will be uh, 10 10 times 4 it will be 40 square root 6 over 2 then you can see really here a it will be 50 plus minus 20 square root 6 this is the value of a in this japanese maths olympiad question now here we are find out a one it will be positive value 50 plastic uh, plus value here 20 square root 6 and a2 is equal to 50 minus 20 square root 6 but recall remember that our third equation it will be v is equal to 100 minus a p is equal to 100 minus a our target v is equal to what so our third equation it will be b is equal to 100 minus a so if i take this equation we'll find out easily v is equal to what so here v is equal to 100 uh, minus a we oh know that a it will be first of all we are take here is a1 it will be 50 plus 20 square root 6 and you can see here b1 it will be 100 minus 50 minus 20 square root 6 so we'll find out it will be 50 100 minus 50 it will be 50 and here is negative 20 square root 6 so when a1 it will be 50 plus 20 square root 6 this time b1 it will be 50 <coughs> sorry 50 20 square root 6 then here again when a2 is equal to 50 minus 20 square root 6 this time b2 <coughs> b2 is equal to 50 minus 20 sorry b2 is equal to 100 100 minus uh, it will be here 50 minus 20 square root 6 then you can see it will be 100 minus 50 minus minus it will be plus 20 square root 6 then here 50 plus 20 square root 6 so we are find out here is uh, when a2 is equal to 50 minus 20 square root 6 this time b2 is equal to 50 plus 20 square root 6 so this is our final answer in this japanese mass olympiad question interesting here is no complex solution let's check out uh, our question uh, it will be a plus b is equal to 100 and a b is equal to 100 this is our question so we'll find out a it will be 50 plus 20 square root 6 this time b is equal to 50 minus 20 square root 6 let's check out if i add both below we'll find out here is 100 so okay so a plus b it is 100 now you can see here a is equal to 50 plus 20 square root 6 plus b is equal to 50 minus 20 square root 6 is equal to 100 now here 20 square root 6 20 square root is cancel out because of that this is positive this is negative 50 plus 50 it will be 100 is equal to 100 so both sides are equal you can see the left hand side and right hand side is equal but other case 
we'll find out a b is equal to also 100 but how you can see easily here a it will be 50 plus 20 square root 6 and b it will be 50 minus 20 square root 6 is equal to 100 so you can see still here uh if you think it is a it is b a plus b times a minus b you can see it will be a square minus b square is equal to 100 then at this moment we know that 50 square it will be 25 and here is 20 minus 20 square it will be 400 and square this cancel we we'll find out here is 6 is equal to 100 then here 2500 zero zero minus 4 times this will be 2400 is equal to 100 then you can easily this minus b is it will be 100 is equal to 100 so left hand side and right hand side is equal so you can easily uh, this is our final answer in this math Olympiad question. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.